Uh, I've seen it used um, in a number of ways. I, uh, it, it, particularly, I think the induction of volunteers is one of the ways that can be useful. So people who are c coming into this, f this field without training necessarily. Um, so on what basis then do we give these people a access to uh, people who can be quite vulnerable? And I think some initial training around, you know, this is what our ethical commitment is. This is why we're here. This is what we, uh, this is what we do. This is what we don't do. In this relationship, can be useful and create some margins of safety that might otherwise be diff more difficult to put in. Um, I've seen it used really effectively in in interprofessional interprofessional working. There was an example in particular where you had a youth worker working in a school. And as we do, developing kind of quite egalitarian relationships, open, informal relationships with young people in that context, which the school and particular people and uh, officials in the school were very suspicious of and saw as unprofessional and, and, um, and were quite condemnatory about, um, and saw the youth worker as a loose cannon and out of control and all of that sort of thing. and. Um, what happened was the youth workers manager then sat down with the school principal and, and the key staff, um, particularly the pastoral staff, and worked through the code of ethics with them. And then they understood what, what the, the, the different kind of relationship um, uh, that, that a youth worker might have in a school than teachers might. Um, I've seen it used in management, you know, where um, I, um, uh, in regular supervision, for example, you're working with with a, a staff member, and you and you, you work around the code of ethics around that sort of thing. It's I've seen it put up on the on the on the walls of of um, of CLD centres, so so that the punters know what to expect. You know, they they can see what the deal is as well, and what the commitment is to them.